Hey everyone, and welcome back to Share Trek. I'm Jack. And I'm Diane. And we're back with another review. That's right. Uh, today we're looking at something uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, really interesting. It has some big implications for investors. Yeah. So uh, we want to look at this new initiative from the Biden administration. Okay. That's uh, targeting sickle cell disease treatment. Interesting. And um, before we get into it, uh, just a quick reminder. This is our personal opinion and not financial advice. Always important. All right, so, um, you know, sickle cell disease. Yeah. It's a really tough condition. Yeah, it's a, it's a serious one. Really debilitating. And uh, treatments have always been- Super expensive. Yeah, really expensive. Yeah, and there haven't really been a cure until now. And that's what makes this so interesting. Oh, right. Because we're starting to see these gene therapies. Yes. Like Vertex's Lifetenia and Bluebirds, Kaz Gaby. They're showing a lot of promise. Really promising. But Huge price tag. Yeah, they're not cheap. No. Uh, like Genia is $3.1 million. Wow. And Kaz Gaby is $2.2 million. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a big barrier for a lot of patients. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, it also puts a big strain on state Medicaid programs. For sure. Trying to cover these costs. Yeah, absolutely. That's where the CMS access model comes in. Okay. So this is a new initiative that's designed to directly tackle this cost issue. Makes sense. And states can opt in to the program. Mm. And there's a pretty big incentive for them to do that because yeah. there's 95 million in federal funding available. Wow. So how does it work? Well, the key innovation here is the use of outcomes-based agreements. Okay. So how does that work? Basically, states are only going to pay for the treatment if it actually works. Oh, that's interesting. So they measure the success of the treatment based on concrete outcomes. Okay. Things like reduced hospitalizations. Okay. Fewer strokes. You know, things that really show the therapy is making a difference. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like a money back guarantee. You could think of it that way. If it doesn't work, you don't pay. Right. And to give you a more concrete example, yeah. let's imagine that Life Genius success is measured by a 50% reduction in hospitalizations over five years. Okay. If Vertex achieves that target, they get the full payment. Okay. But if they don't, the payment is reduced proportionally. Makes sense. So you can see how that really incentivizes the company yeah. to not just develop a treatment, but to make sure it actually delivers long-term positive results. Yeah, that makes sense. So it really takes a lot of the financial risk off of the state Medicaid programs. Yeah. Because instead of having to pay millions of dollars up front for a treatment that might not work for every single patient, right. they're only paying when they see tangible results. Yeah, and that's huge for them. It is, and it gets even better because CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, okay. they're actually going to be negotiating the prices on behalf of all the states that opt into the program. So they're going to use their bulk buying power to get better deals. Exactly. So states could get access to these groundbreaking treatments at a lower cost, which means it's going to be easier for them to provide these therapies to their Medicaid patients. Now, all this sounds great for patients. It is. But for investors, what does this all mean? So for companies like Vertex and Bluebird Bio, okay. this initiative could be huge. Yeah. It addresses that main barrier we were talking about before the cost. But. And it opens the door to a much larger market. Yeah. The Medicaid patients. Makes sense. So if these therapies prove to be successful under this model, okay. that could mean a significant amount of revenue for these companies, yeah. potentially driving up their stock values. So it sounds like a real win-win. You can say that, but it's important to remember yeah. that there are always risks involved yeah. in any investment. Right. So while there's this great potential upside for companies like Vertex and Bluebird Bio, uh -huh. there's also a chance that the long-term efficacy of these treatments okay. might fall short of expectations. That's always a possibility. Right. So investors always need to weigh the potential rewards right. against the risks. Makes sense. So... You know, what if the treatments don't actually achieve those targeted outcomes yeah. consistently? How would that affect the company's financial outlook? Right. And in turn, how would that affect your investment? Yeah, that's a good point. These are all things that you need to consider. You know, it makes you wonder if this model is successful for sickle cell disease. Yeah. Should it be applied to other expensive, innovative therapies? Oh, absolutely. Down the road? Yeah. I mean, this could be the start of a real shift. It could. In how healthcare pays for these cutting edge treatments. It's definitely something investors should be watching closely. So for all of you listening, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, could this outcomes-based model be the future of healthcare? Let us know. Let us know down in the comments. Yeah, we want to hear your thoughts. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to help grow the ShareTrick community. See you next time. Yeah.